Hello friends and welcome to the Positively Papercraft Summer YouTube Hop. Now, as always with these hops, there's lots of lovely ladies that have done lovely projects uh, and they're all listed in the descriptions below, so please check them out as well uh, and get some inspiration. Now in the UK, for me, summer is fields and countryside and dragonflies and butterflies. Um, so that's where I've gathered my inspiration from. And there's a couple of different projects I'm going to show you in a moment, all butterfly and dragonfly inspired. Now I'm mainly going to be using the Painted Blooms paper pack, which is from the Positively Paper Craft May crafting box. Um, so if you want to know more about that, if you check out um, Anne's channel, she'll be able to give you more information on it. But I really love the monthly box. and I've used a couple of sheets at the moment. That one's my absolute favourite, but there's loads of things in the boxes. They are really, really good boxes. So I'm also using the dies, which are from the work, and they're four pound for those two nesting dies. So here, I'm just showing you my first attempt at the splitting the tag, because I think sometimes when you see really perfect projects, it sort of puts you off a little bit. You think, well, I'm not going to be able to do that. So this was just me messing around. You can see the edges are a bit rough and, um, and you sort of, it's not really a finished article, but it's, it's what I made when I was messing around. So I enjoyed making it. And when you put it up to the light, obviously the light comes through the wings, which looks really pretty. So I played around with some of the nesting dies a little bit, which obviously gave me a harder back and it made it just look a little bit tidier. But I just love the look of the sort of wings picking out from the tag. And here, just to show you, I did it on the wrong side, which is why it looks a little bit rough, but you can see the light shining through and you can do it with any, any dye. But also, if you put, I'm trying to show you zoomed up, if you put some glue over the tissue paper, it just makes it a bit harder and a little less delicate if you're worried about ripping tissue paper. So here was the bottom of the dangle that I showed you. And it's seamed in three layers. This is the middle one. I think they look really pretty, especially when the light shines through them and catches the little gems. And these could be used either as a dangle as I've done, or these could be used in scrapbooks without the hole punch, um, or put on cards. For a card. But I just thought they looked nice dangling at the window. And as well as that I've made a couple of note look cards using that paper as I mentioned. A few gems. I've got a die cut letters um, so I've used those as well. And I try and keep everything quite simple, quite coordinated because that's just my style really. And my favourite paper comes back. And I think it works sort of using the coordinated papers and keeping it to a minimum, especially with this one. I really liked this one. I wasn't sure whether with the detailed print on the paper it would work, but I think it does. I hope it does. Tell me what you think. So coming up now is the die cutter machine. I bought this at Christmas time. It only cost me £20. I know Aldi have one extremely similar for £15 at the moment. But it's just to show you, you don't need big expensive equipment to do any of these die cuts. Um, you can pick them up quite cheaply. And then I've decorated the envelopes. And just to show you, I actually prefer when there's a little less ink on the page. You can just see it, looks, it gives it a far more delicate look. really is one of my favourite stamps. So for now that's it. Um, please again check out the lovely ladies in the descriptions below. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see some more videos like this and until next time happy crafting everyone. Take care. Bye.